anger over the bond bill. Some in the Hines County delegation are saying the projects are purely political and they leave out the capital city. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris has more. The legislative session is over, but there are some calling foul over the bond bill. We just think that the process was not fair. Uh, it was uh, very political. Uh, and it was very partisan. Over 75 items are listed in the bond bill, and besides projects connected to the state like the fairgrounds in JSU, he says investment falls short for Hines County. I think the total amount from, for Hines County and the city of Jackson is $270,000 out of $207 million. One project taken out of the bond bill was a $10 million low interest loan to go to the Weston Hotel to build a multi-use parking garage. Not only was it going to develop a parking garage uh, for the federal courthouse, for Hines County and the Weston Hotel patrons, uh, they were going to put um, a restaurant on the first floor and on top of that parking garage, 150 new apartments. Improvements to Hawkins Field Airport and a workforce training center at Metro Center Mall were rejected. Speaker Gunn in his post-session press conference says so members running in tough races may have lobbied for particular projects. I'm sure there were members who came to him and said, hey, I've got you know, a, a tough election, I need help. Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves' office said in a release the 2019 session ended with millions of dollars being spent in Hines County. Being the seat of government means thousands of people come to Jackson every day to work and visit, and they spend millions of dollars here each year. There are a lot of communities in Mississippi that would love to have the investment in tourism that Jackson sees as the capital city. Reporting in Jackson, Gerald Harris, WJTV 12.